Hi guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile. I am also known as The Financial Bunny. Welcome to The Financial Bunny TV. Today we're talking all things overdrafts. One of the questions that I get quite frequently is what is an overdraft? How do you use an overdraft and how would you pay it back? Now remember that nothing that I say on this channel constitutes as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody that is certified and registered to give you financial advice. So basically, what would be, for instance, an instance where you are going to need the use of an overdraft? So let's say, for instance, you run out of money at the end of the month. And when you run out of money, you find that um, applying for a credit card might not be an option or applying for a personal loan might not be an option. So one of the credit facilities that financial institutions like banks would offer you is having an overdraft facility on your check account. So your account would be linked to to this overdraft facility and what does it actually mean well basically for some people you may have sometimes or gone into an overdraft without actually knowing that you actually had an overdraft and this is where you may withdraw money or some of your debit orders run and your uh, your total balance on your bank account goes into a negative generally if you don't have an overdraft facility the bank will either have your debit order bounce or they will let it go into an overdraft and then contact you and say you need to rectify the situation but in many instances people already have consented towards an overdraft facility so you have a certain leeway of how much your bank account can be overdrawn and that's what an overdraft is is when your account gets overdrawn to a certain extent so for instance if you have an overdraft of maybe let's say a thousand rand and you get to a point where your bank account goes to zero what will happen is if you still have outstanding debit orders or you need cash um, you may be able to withdraw up to minus 1000 rand now of course a lot of people will say oh so this is like the bank giving me free money that i can use no nothing from the banks is free right if they're giving you access to this money it means that at some point one they're going to charge you interest on that amount of money but two they also going to take it back you're going to actually have to repay it back which is why sometimes going into an overdraft can be a very dangerous exercise if you are not ready for it especially if it's not something that is um, extraordinary that happens in your month if this is something that happens usually in your month where you need to go into an overdraft there's one thing that we can be very sure of and it's the fact that you are living beyond your means because it means that you often have to use more than what you actually are earning to be able to get through the month and i always tell people this because what usually happens is that many of us we do this thing where we budget once we've budgeted and the salary comes in like some people are going to get their salaries very soon because we're going towards the end of the month what we do is we pay off our living expenses our contractual debt and then maybe we're left with like three thousand rand and somehow psychologically we believe that because we left the three thousand rand that's our disposable income and we don't use that three thousand rand very responsibly forgetting that there's still going to be another three weeks before your next paycheck or even four weeks before your next paycheck and some Sometimes that's how people end up in an overdraft now if you are going to go into an overdraft and it's not an extraordinary occurrence in that specific month it does mean that you are living beyond your means while I say it may be an extraordinary occurrence there are ways to also avoid having to have that extraordinary occurrence and that's why we encourage a lot of people to have what is called an emergency fund because in any month where an emergency happened it can take you off track in terms of your budget that's why you need to have those financial reserves to be able to not feel the bump when you do have those kind of extraordinary situations happen in the month for you look the fair thing is that an overdraft is quite a it's a nifty credit facility to have because the funds are immediately available so you don't need to go and apply for a loan and every single time you have a problem you can actually just um, 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 go into a negative onto your bank account and you're able to use those funds without having to, 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 to do all of those applications it's not an additional account like it would if you had a credit card because a credit card has what is called a credit card account whereas an overdraft is linked to your transactional account right the 
other thing that um, makes it a little bit more nifty is the fact that you pay for what you use, right? Yes, they will charge you an interest, but you will only pay for what you use. So if you don't, so for instance, if you have an overdraft of a thousand rand, but you only go into up to minus 300 rand, you will only pay back the 300 plus the interest. They're not going to make you pay an additional minus uh, or a thousand rand because your overdraft is a thousand rand. You also have control over your overdraft. So most of the banks, if you go onto their online platforms or you go into their apps, you're able to adjust your overdraft. Of course, adjusting it down is probably more easier. So reducing the overdraft facility and adjusting it up, they will still do what is called a quick credit check on your name to figure out whether or not they can responsibly lend you that amount of money, right? Because it is a credit facility, so you are borrowing. And I think that's also quite an important thing for all of us to actually remember, right? The other thing that you've got to be very wary of with an overdraft is the fact that they will take the entire amount of money. And this is generally where a lot of people find themselves getting into a trap. What do I mean when I say they will take the entire amount of money? So let's say, for instance, you earn 10,000 rand, but you've got an overdraft of 5,000 rand. If you go into your overdraft of 5,000 rand, it gives you a facility of 5,000 rand plus your 10,000. So essentially, you think you've got 15,000 rand, right? But remember, the money is not yours. The 5,000 is not yours. You will have to keep pay it back. And unfortunately, and unlike other credit facilities, like a personal loan or a credit card, where you are paying a minimum amount every single month. So there's a minimum monthly repayment that you would pay on a credit card or a personal loan on a, an overdraft. They take the entire amount of money, basically. Um, what do I mean? Again, you have 10,000 rand that comes into your bank account, but last month you used 5,000. So you are actually sitting at minus 5,000 rand in your bank account, right? So what happens is that when your 10,000 rand comes in, it will rectify your account to a positive balance of only 5,000 rand. This now forces you to actually spend again into the negative because if last month this was not an extraordinary thing and it happens and you actually need 15,000 rand every single month, it means that you are continuously going to dig yourself a little bit of a grave because this month you only have a positive of 5,000 rand, forcing you to use the 5,000 rand deposit, uh, uh, overdraft facility again. So you go back again to minus 5,000 rand, but you actually need 15. So you actually are going to be at a disadvantage. So it's important to always try to pace of that overdraft so that you don't get stuck into it, especially if you're realizing that you actually need additional funds every single month. So I would encourage any single person that first and foremost, do what you need to do to make sure you don't need to have to use an overdraft and only use it in cases where you've, you've already exhausted your emergency fund. You've looked at other credit facilities. The overdraft is there and it's available for you to use, but with a plan to pay it back immediately and close it because it can become a perpetual loan if you don't have control and discipline over your overdraft. I hope that that has assisted you in making a decision as to whether or not to use the overdraft or not to use an overdraft.